Hello and welcome to Dyson Demons. I'm Emma and uh, we've just had some really cool news um, about the uh, the Dwarven people, the squats uh, that uh, GW sort of kind of revealed yesterday when it was April 1st. So everyone kind of thought that it was a, a pretty, you know, mean joke because a bunch of people have been wanting squats back for like ever and ever and ever. But they just released this article and I thought we would just take a quick look at it because uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I, I want space dwarves. Uh, so uh, the article says, um, what April Fools, the 41st millennium next, millennium's next faction is real and here's a model to prove it. So uh, they write, it has come to our attention that yesterday, yesterday's stunning reveal of the next Warhammer 40,000 faction fell on an unfortunate date. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, this was an honest mistake that absolutely anyone could have made. To make it up to you, we have a rather special announcement. The real. That was so cool. I watched the video yesterday and I was like, oh man, I, uh, that would be really cool. But on the other hand, I mean, yeah, April 1st and stuff. And then again, I mean, it looked like they put a, you know, a lot of effort into it. So yeah, I was really kind of keeping my fingers crossed and hoping that uh, it would actually turn out to be real. And uh, well, it was. So uh, they have a, a, a quick video that we sh uh, I think we should just take a look at. It's, uh, it's not nearly as long as the uh, video from, uh, from yesterday. So uh, just a <laughs> you thought we were joking? <laughs> I love this mohawk. Mohawk's always a great idea. Oh man, and so it's just coming soon. I mean, I want to know when they're coming, right? Um, but, and, and yeah, coming soon. That I mean, GW has like, you know, kind of a loose definition of soon, I think, it, when it comes to releasing models. Um, I mean, coming soon, in, I mean, soon for me would be like within the next couple of weeks at the most, but I don't, I don't think that's what they mean. What, what, that's what they mean. Um, but the article goes on to say, yes, they're really real. Uh, in an April Fool's double bluff that had seen himself scratching his feathered head, humanity's long lost cousins actually are making their return to the 41st millennium as a full Warhammer 40,000 faction. I am so pleased to hear that because when um, I mean I just saw this article and and when I just you know first saw it I thought oh that that's so cool but uh, I mean I was I was actually kind of expecting them to come back um, like as a kill team faction at least at first uh, but it uh, it looks like they're actually just you know going to release a whole army for these guys which is uh, I mean I'm all for it uh, kill team is cool and everything and and some of the you know specialized kill team factions are awesome and uh, but I definitely prefer you know entire armies if I can get them so uh, yeah here we have one of the models he looks he looks pretty cool I like the iron boots and everything I don't know anything about squads from like the old days when they were you know uh, actually around um, so I am just taking a look at this as some, you know, as almost as an outsider, but I, I like, you know, the whole composition with the, his sort of really top heavy. And I think that suits the profile really well. Um, and the baggy clothes and everything. And he looks probably angry and with a scar across his eye and everything. So cool. It says here, uh, and while those nasty Nick Mundans still call them squats, that's not at all how they refer to themselves. Oh, I am sorry. Uh, I will refrain from calling them squats henceforth. Um, nah, I'm probably lying. I think squats is the perfect, uh, perfect name for them. Uh, these warriors have a long and proud martial history, and to those who aren't on their bad side, they're known as the Leaks of Votan, though they refer to themselves as kin. Okay, uh, they look really cool. Look at the uh, runes, runic symbols and everything on his armor. I like that as well. Uh, and I like the, you know, uh, robotic eye and everything. Leaks of Votan. Hmm. Sounds sounds cool. Um, I I mean I really look forward to seeing more. Uh, just one model. That's a, you know, 
come on, <laughs> show us the entire army range. Uh, but I mean, I'm sure GW are just, you know, um, planning on doing a whole bunch of reveal articles on this, so they're not going to just show, a, show us the entire army all at once. Um, but I would really love it if they did. Um, I really hope they have like big bikes and stuff. They would that would be cool. Um, I'm also a little bit interested in you know seeing how how big they are. I mean, they're supposedly like dwarves, right? So so they can't be too tall. Um, but I'm I, I want to see what they look like next to like uh, some chaos demons or uh, you know space marines or orcs or something, just to get a sense of uh, of the scale of them. Um, and especially all if they have like vehicles and stuff. I really, really hope they have some cool vehicles. That would be awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, and then, I mean, this is really well painted. So I'm not uh, having a go at the painter because obviously they are, you know, a way better painter than I, I am. Um, but I mean, I mean, squads could do with a bit of neon colors, couldn't they? Uh, well, I hope. I think so. Anyway, um, so the article goes on to say, um, although their civilization shares common roots with humanity, the leaks of Votan have an uneasy relationship with the Imperium of Man. Unlike their superstitious human cousins, the leaks emerged from the Age of Strife with far more of their ancient technology intact, including some infamous advances the Imperium would consider extremely heretical. I really look forward to seeing those, uh, you know, uh, infamous advances. Um, because I think that sounds like they could have some really cool stuff. Their knack for science and a headstrong nature make for skilled warriors backed up by reliable weaponry, as you can see from, this, from even this basic trooper. And while there's no love lost between the leaks of Votan and humankind, the resurgence of chaos and ascendant Sina's hordes mean there are usually more pressing concerns than fighting each other. I really like this piece of art here. Uh, he just looks proper, like, grim and, uh, you know, like a really tough, hardened warrior. He, he has seen everything. And he, I mean, he is not backing down. Um, and I like that he's, you know, yeah, he's obviously, you know, going to war and, and uh, uh, being all martial and stuff. But he still has time to do a really nice, sharp mohawk. Um, and when I was a teenager, I had, like, a really high mohawk. Um, and... Uh, yeah, if you're wondering, it was uh, usually pink or purple and sometimes green. It was uh, lovely. And no, I'm not going to show you any photos. Um, but I'll have to say that, you know, making a mohawk, mohawk as sharp as this, that takes, you know, time and dedication. So I like that he has, you know, put, put a little bit of effort in, uh, you know, uh, on his hairdo. So uh, the leaks of Votan are coming to Warhammer 40,000 later this year. But they said soon in the video, later this year. I mean, this year we're like three, you know, three months in <laughs> this year. It could be like nine months. Oh, come on. Oh, well. Um, but there are still a solid few months to go before we get a good look at the advanced force. In the meantime, we'll be sharing a huge amount of info about the new faction and their place in the 41st millennium. Uh, join us in the coming weeks. We have Warhammer community for more looks at the leaks of Votan. And you can sign up to the newsletter. Okay. So um, yeah, we won't be uh, we won't be able to see the entire army as I suspected, but uh, you know right away. Um, but I'm actually pretty pretty in it, pretty interested in this. Um, I think uh, I think they look cool, and I think they it sounds like they have a lot of potential for all sorts of crazy stuff. And uh, I mean. I like crazy stuff. So, uh, on the other hand, I, I'm just starting a Chaos Space Marine army, so perhaps um, I should just, you know, keep my eyes closed whenever I uh, see news about uh, the squads, squads, um, or leaks of Votan, as they prefer to be called, apparently, or kin. Um, but yeah, I think I could pretty easily be, a, yeah. Be, be swayed to just, you know, have a tiny, tiny <laughs> squad army. So, yeah. But uh, what do you think? Uh, do you think it looks uh, looks cool? Do you, are you happy that they're coming back? And are you as, uh, you know, impatient as I am uh, to see the whole entire army? Let me know what you think. Uh, so you are very, very welcome, of course, to write in the comments section down below. And uh, uh, if you want to stay up to date on my projects and the cool stuff I find around the internet as well, uh, you can also join me as Dyson Demons on uh, Facebook, where I have a uh, Facebook group. And you can also find me on Instagram and Twitter as well. So um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.